What's goody guys? It is 3.40 and we just got our first DoorDash order, $7.75, 2.5 miles. We're going to go ahead and take it. We also got an Uber Eats. Man, I'm not going to Walmart. Heck no. Well, yeah, they ordered 12 items. Let's hope they're actually 12 items. Nope. Five mild sauce and five salsas. Damn it. What is the subtotal on this? Let me check real quick. $15. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this order is going to stay at um, $7.75. But you know what? It's all good. And, man, it took me an hour and a half just to get on DoorDash. Like, I forgot to schedule last week, and they literally didn't have any schedules. So I had to wait for it to turn busy, and it finally did. And yeah, we are back on it. I'm only going to be dashing for a couple of hours today just because I have work. I work security full time. So I only do this a couple of hours in the day before I actually uh, go to my W2 job, which I work full time. Sometimes 50 hours. You never know. But yeah, guys, let's go pick up that Rubio's Castle Grill order. I'm pretty sure it's going to be ready because... Rubio's, they always have the order ready, man. I feel like in every location, it doesn't matter where you are at. They will have the order ready when you get there unless they're slammed. But yeah, guys. We just got the order and we are six minutes 1.5 miles away as you guys saw i had to fill up the drink so they did not fill it up and i actually don't mind filling up the drink it's like whatever to me it only took me like a couple of seconds to fill it up and plus not only that the workers are already dealing with enough you know i as you guys saw he was taking an order and he probably couldn't go in the back and fill up the drink i don't mind filling up the drinks i don't think you guys should mind it too because, you know, it's not like a big deal. To me, it's not. Let me know if you guys mind um, filling up the drink or not. Alrighty, guys, we dropped off that order and we just got our next order. $8.75, 2.4 miles. And yeah, the order did turn out to be $7.75. It had a $3.50. You guys wondering, I am not using the, the Para app anymore. I went ahead and deactivated my account on Para just because like there's a risk that my account can be deactivated and since i started doing youtube and filming my videos i don't want any chances of my account getting deactivated so i went ahead and deleted the para app it was fun while it lasted you know i showed you guys the real i showed you guys everything and yeah we are let me see how far away we are we are only three minutes away and the order is not going to be ready until 4.10. It's almost 4 right now. But you know what? We're still going to go ahead and wait for it just because it's a good order. And it's going to a house, which is nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and deliver scissors. Let's see if the order is ready. Nope. 24 hours later we secured the bag and we are only six minutes away we also got a uber eats this one is garbage one more order i'm not doing that hell no nah. and yeah guys let's go secure the sack y'all know the drill man i don't even need to say it no more oh we we got the 183 horsepower cuz we dropped off that order, it was handed to me. And let's see how much we got. Okay, $8.75, not bad. It was a $3 tip. I mean, their order was only $18, so a $3 tip is appropriate for that order. 
But man, I wish every customer tipped five dollars. That would be really cool. But yeah, guys, that order technically put me in a in my zone. So let's see what we get next. Alrighty, guys, we got our next order. One point seven miles, seven dollars and twenty five cent Applebee's. We'll go ahead and take it. And although it's low key a low payout, and they and Applebee's be taking forever. Low key, the drop t the pickup time is. 425 and it's 420 i think the order should be ready it is only one item they ordered some chicken tenders man y'all already know my girl daisy is craving them tenders so let's go pick them up and drop them off two hours later Alrighty, guys we finally got the order nine minutes after the pickup time and the order only cost 14 dollars. now this is why i hate picking up small orders like that Oh, not small orders, like low payouts. You know, it's because you never know what's going on inside the restaurant. You don't know if they're packed. You don't know how busy they are. You don't know anything until you get there and you accept the order. So that's why I wait for those $8 plus orders. So then when I complete the order, it will be worth it, you know? Because now that I waited nine minutes after the pickup time and then it's going to take me another five minutes to drop it off, find the apartment and everything, man, it's just not worth it. Like $7, it's, in my opinion, that's not worth it. I don't know if it's worth it for you guys or not, but oh well, man, it's whatever. We are only 3 minutes, 0.8 miles away, and the order is a handed to me. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and get it dropped, and that'll be the, the first hour of the day. We'll be making um, 8 plus 8. We'll be making $23.75, so we'll just call it a $24 hour. And yeah, hopefully the next hour is better. I usually like to be over uh, 28 and up just because my base pay usually is $4 and sometimes it goes up to $4.75. So yeah. Hello, there you go, man. Yep. Dropped off the order, was a handed to me, and $3 tip. And this is why I don't like delivering orders under $8. Because sometimes you get screwed, man. Like, I got screwed. I went there, I waited 10 minutes for the order. Then I had to drive another 5 minutes to get to the apartment. After getting to the apartment, I had to find the apartment. And all that for $7. But it's okay. Let's go do some more orders. Yes, yeah, seriously, guys, we got another order. $8.25 for 2.7 mile Hawaiian barbecue. We'll go ahead and accept that. And yeah, let me guys show you what just happened in the intersection. Let me go and pause that. This is a really good dash cam. I like it. Okay, as you can see, I'm waiting for the red light. And then let me move to the shade a little. Maybe that'll be better. See, I'm moving right. And then this, this douchebag just merges into my lane. Man, people can't drive, man. But anyways, guys, there it is, the Hawaiian barbecue right over there. I'm pretty sure the order is going to be ready. Uh, let me check the pickup time. Yep. Nah, it's not going to be what? Why would they send me this order if it's 11 minutes apart and I'm right here? Oh, man. Now, are you serious? Now I got to wait again? <sighs> Check this out. It's 4.50. The pickup time is by 4.57. And we got the order, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how far we are. And we are only eight minutes away. Man, heck yeah. And we're taking the highway. A little bit of highway action for you guys. And yep, that's how you do DoorDash, man. You gotta, you gotta know your, your restaurants. Which ones are fast and which ones are slow. I made a mistake by taking the Applebee's order. You know, it's all good, man. We redeemed ourselves with this order right here. It's only a $20 payout. I mean, a $20 subtotal. So I don't think it's going to go any higher, but there's only one way to find out. Man, part would have came handy with these type of orders. But it's all good. Yes, sir, guys, we dropped off that order. I handed it to him. I don't know why every order is handed to me now. So let's see what we got. Ooh, let's go. $11.25, man. Y'all know the deal, bro. We're making this money. 
Uh, Alright guys, let's go. Let's go pick up some more orders. Finally got our first Uber Eats order. Seven, seven dollars for 0.9 miles Panda Express. We'll go ahead and take it. It's a four dollar tip because Uber Eats uh, base pay is three dollars. But you know what? It's such a short mileage. I'll go ahead and take it. Let me see what they ordered. They only ordered one plate. Chow fried rice, and the orange chicken, and honey shrimp. Man, that sounds good right now. No cap. Okay, guys, we got the order, and we are two minutes, 0.5 miles. It is going to an apartment. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Alrighty, I just dropped it off. And let's go do some more orders. Shit, I'm a neutral. What's going on with the sun? There we go. Uh, look at this apartment complex, man. Like, you gotta enter and exit from here. This is a tight squeeze. Sheesh. Alrighty. You guys check on the left and I'll check on the right. Clear, clear. Let's bounce. Alrighty guys, I went to a new zone and I got this really good order, $15 for 4.5 miles. Yeah, I can do that, but it's taking me back to El Cajon and I literally just got to Santee. But you know what? It's all good, man. I mean, who's going to pass up a $15 order for 0.4? For... What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Well, yeah, guys, I just got here, arrived, and the order is not going to be ready until... 5:35 or right now it's 5:28, so we gotta wait a little. And I know this place; it usually takes a long time, but it's all good, man. Let's go ahead. You know, ordered not started until I arrived. And yes, sir. Yes, sir, ski guys, we got the order five minutes before the pickup time, and we are 11 minutes away. Let's go ahead and do it. And I did the calculation for this hour; we will be at $33.25, which is really good on a Tuesday. That is amazing on a Tuesday. Oh, snap. All righty, guys. Let's go ahead and do it. Do it! Just do it! You didn't win in my yard. Wait, wait, wait. I, all of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? that order off let's go ahead and complete it i don't think there's gonna be a hidden tip but let's see what eighteen dollars and 25 cents damn okay we got three dollars extra that was a really good order and my zone is only like two miles away from here so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go to my zone and then try to get another order before we head home guys we got our next order eight dollars and thirty cents 1.5 miles i've never picked up from this place before oh my god i gotta make it left but i'm the right lane man damn it i gotta go straight make it left somewhere where's this place at i have never picked up from here but let me see what they ordered they ordered some stuff i can't pronounce but let's go ahead and do, do it. it just was ready we just got the order and let's see how far we are away we are only 0.9 miles away okay it's going to an apartment but that's okay because we just got here but i can't enter i have to enter through this gate right here but it's all good the apartment is over there let's go ahead and drop it off all righty guys we just dropped off the order delivered yes sir oh wow it was only a three dollar base fee that sucks Wait, what? Oh, we still haven't got the tip for this one. Damn, it's been like an hour. Where's my $4 tip? All right, guys, we gotta wait for the tips. Wait, did it come in? Nope. Let's go catch another order before we go home. Is look what Uber is trying to send me, man. 22 miles for $22? Are you kidding me? I'm good, bro, I'm good. Well, yeah, guys, I just made it home. I'm going home because I did not get anything. And plus, I got a door that tried to send me a no tip order. Like, where is it? Like, hold up. Wait, like, look at this dude, man. 2.2 miles for $3.75. I 
I'm good. And if you zoom in, it's going to an apartment. So yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that. I ain't taking no tip order. And you shouldn't be taking no tips too. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you guys want to see more. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks guys. Have a good one. Yeah.